guys just kick off? Anyone? Uh, Gustav, your initial thoughts on the Champions League draw, three tough teams? Yeah, three tough teams. Uh, it's going to be a, a good challenge against all of them. Uh, and three, three teams that like have a good uh, home support. So uh, looking forward to playing here and the Celtic fans showing who has the best home support. Who are you looking forward to playing the most out of the three teams final, Lazio and Atletico Madrid? I think like Atletico Madrid, maybe because like they have some recent uh, good recent history in the Champions League with getting into the final and yeah, being close to win it. So I would I would say them. Yeah, we're gonna be playing against some world class forwards, you know, it's people like Chao Felix, Depay and Chiro and Mobley. Um is that something you're looking forward to for your own, you know, development and experience in football? Yeah, of course. Uh, you play football to play against the best and now um, I got a great opportunity to, to do so in the Champions League, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good challenge but I look forward to it. You faced Fire back in twenty twenty one. How will that affect your mindset going into the game? Um, hopefully good. Like I know uh, how it is there, the things around the locker room and and the atmosphere. So hopefully I can be a bit more prepared uh, than I would be if I haven't played them before. Uh, yeah, and they they have great atmosphere there. And um, yeah, so looking forward to that game also. Celtic announced that Matt Phillips today has obviously won the Champions League with Liverpool. How excited are you to play alongside him in these big matches? Yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be a great addition to the squad with his experience from the from the Champions League, getting far. Um, saw him in practice today, and he, he looks he looks like a really good player. Um, so I think we have a, a good uh, competitive squad with with lots of good players, and now uh, it feels like every day and every training we get to know each other better. We have a lot of new players, and and it feels like it's been a lot of improvements just like since I got here. Um, just for everyone getting to know each other. Uh, so I think uh, that will be a good uh, addition to the squad. Uh, how big were these Champions League nights and a drawing factor to bring you to Celtic? Is that something that was a main factor for you? Yeah, it was It was a big factor. Uh, these games, like playing against the best best teams and, uh, and uh, show ourselves, show how good we are, and hopefully get points and, and get through to the next stage. Hi there. How excited are you for Sunday being your first derby match? Really excited. Yeah, I look forward to it. Uh, from everything I heard uh, from from the other guys in the team, it yeah, they said it's a great experience, and hopefully we can we can get a result there. Definitely. Thank yeah. you. We've managed to avoid a lot of the really really tough teams in the Champions League, like the Real Madrid and that kind of thing. How far do you think we could actually get in those competitions? You know, what what choice of realistic target at this stage? I think uh, for me personally, and I'm sure the team feels so also that like when you're in a competition, the goal is always to win it, but you can always only take one game at a time. Uh, and then, so our first, first goal is, is going to be get through to the to the knockout stages. Um, so yeah, that's, that's our first goal. Um, and I think like if we do everything we can, we hopefully we get there. So yeah, that's our goal. Players giving you an indication of what, what it's like to play in a Champions League night here at Celtic Park? Uh, yeah, they told me about it, and I've seen some clips on YouTube also, uh, and it looks great. I got a little taste of it this uh, Saturday. And, like The atmosphere was, was crazy just then, so I can imagine how it is on, on European nights. Um, how are you and the players um, going to cope on Sunday without any Celtic fans there? Is there any? About as a, as a group? It's going to be tough. Uh, we always uh, want the support from our fans. Uh, I think uh, that will be a moment where we really have to stick together as a team, just giving each other energy when, when the fans can't do it. Um, so just pushing each other and uh, yeah, really playing as a team together, then I think we can, can get a good result at our work. You've obviously been here for a couple of weeks now. How have you settled into the squad? And has there any, been anyone that's maybe made it a bit easier for you in the dressing room? Um, I think I've, uh, everything has been happening very fast, but but the guys in the locker room and, and the staff are really welcoming. So it's 
I was settled in much faster than I thought I would, and uh, yeah, and all all of the players have have been helpful. But of course, it's it's nice to have um, the likes of Odin and uh, and Siad, who I can talk Swedish to and like get some inside inside uh, tips from. But like the whole squad has been amazing, and I've I've I felt really welcome these these two weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.